few years ago, I was really into Pokemon games. <laughs> I still am. I had a decent enough team on my Pokemon game, but I was quickly becoming bored of it. I was so stoked to hear about the local club for eager fans as myself to battle it out to see who is the very best. Naturally, I persisted on, asking my mother and father to go. They said yes. The place itself was just a small primary school in one of the classes. I looked around, and there were only about three other people excluding myself. One of the people, a girl, stood out from the rest. Me being me, I approached her. I said hello, and she replied with a smile. The girl, for identity purposes, call her Jane. She had a white Nintendo DS, and it was clutched in her hands. It was the same color as mine. Battle? She asked, and I accepted. She beat me, five to one. We continued to sit in the corner and battle, until her older brother came to pick her up. Will I see you next week? I asked. She nodded with a small smile. The next week, she came. I saw Jane. However, her short brown hair was shaved off and she looked completely bald. She looked awfully sick. Trying not to be rude, I ignored it and approached her. Her dull face turned into a smile when she saw mine, and we battled. Her older brother came to pick her up again, and I said my goodbyes. That evening, I heard my mom and dad yelling. My dad came down the room with a fit of rage, slamming the door and taking a deep breath. Ian, your mother and I don't love each other anymore. Your mother is moving back to New Zealand, and I want you to go with her, so at least you can have some company. You understand, right? I nodded. We left the following Saturday morning. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to Jane. We started our new life there, and I forgot entirely about Jane. A few years later, I moved back to Australia with my fiancé. We moved into a nice house near my old one, where we even started our own family. It wasn't until I went to the attic to grab a box that I found it. My old Pokemon Diamond game, safely tucked in the blue pouch I always kept it in. Memories of the previous years kept on rushing back. The classroom, Jane, our battles, her address, everything. I rushed out of the house, game clenched in my hand, and I went to find her. I knocked on her door, and to my relief, Jane's old brother answered. Ian? Is that you? He asked. Yeah, yeah, it's me, I said. Jane, uh, is Jane okay? I asked. He swallowed and sighed. Jane passed away several months after you stopped going to the club, Ian. I felt tears in my eyes as I looked down. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. She left you something, though. She was really persistent that you would receive it. Won't be a minute, he said. Entering the house, then coming back with a small package. Here, take it. I took it and opened it. Inside was a black Nintendo DS, with the game Pokemon Pearl inside. It was Jane's. There was a note attached. Dear Ian, I know this will never get to you, but I just want to say that whenever you came to the club, my world felt like maybe, just maybe I have something to live for. I love you, Ian, and I always will. Love, Jane. I clutched the package tight tears rolling down my face. I thanked Ian and returned home, but when I did, my fiancé asked what was up and I told her. I told her everything, everything I remembered. She sighed and hugged me, wiped the tears from my eyes and cuddled with me on the couch. I know now why Jane was bald that day. She was diagnosed with brain cancer. I laid myself against her chest and fell asleep, a single tear trickling down my eye.